Hi, everybody. I'm Ollie. This place is a mess. <laughs> and this is EPAD, the show where I fly 11,000 miles just to make jokes because that's fun on a sofa. Who's that? Okay, so first up, we have a premiere. So you should be feeling extremely excited on that one. No, no. I've been doing this show for years. I feel like things are gonna go terribly wrong. I'm pretty sure, actually, that you're right on this one because we're rolling the dice on this particular <laughs> film because Casper Van Dien is the star of this. Well, that is a bit of a roll of the dice. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing like a little bit of gambling. You know no, what I, mean? I, do, I do like <laughs> to shoot some craps every once in a while. <laughs> 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 Too right! But you know what? This movie is coming at you from just about every angle because it's Casper Van Dien from Starship Troopers in a movie where it's all about, it's all about sort of tornadoes, you know, twisters. <laughs> well, look, I'm, I'm from Oklahoma, which is Tornado Alley, so <laughs> I understand <laughs> twisters a great deal. The twisters are terrifying. There's, They're very scary. <laughs> Anyway. Especially Bill Paxton and his non-moving face in the original movie Twister. Oh my goodness. So anyway, it's called F6 Twister, or as it's called in the US, Christmas Twister. Christmas <laughs> Twister. Sounds like a terrible... <laughs> So, you know how you like those sort of Japanese animated movies mm. on the internet? Tentacles. Yeah, the sort of the very tentacly weird videos <laughs> tentacly you watch. <laughs> um, this one is actually a movie based on manga, dubbed in English, set in 2071, and it's called, can't wait for the sign for this, Cowboy Bebop the Movie. <laughs> Sorry. Cowboy Bebop. First of all, when you label a movie with the words, the, the movie, movie, everything is broken. Yeah, but this is Cowboy Bebop, the movie, talking about a bunch of bounty hunters. What is Bebop? I don't know what a Bebop is. That's what I- Because now I'm thinking Cowboy Beatboxing, and then I was thinking like Cowboy, like, doo-wop. I mean, I'm feeling like the scat man. Bebop-ba-da-boop. But it's about a bunch of bounty hunters who- Bebop-ba-da-boop. They fly around in a spaceship, that's it. Bounty Hunters in a spaceship and it's called Cowboy Bebop the movie and it's full of crazy Japanese people. The movie does not make me want to jump up and down with excitement. Bebop. Don't you get it? I'm gonna splatter grandma! Well that's a real shame. But we're not cops and we're not from some charity organization. Sorry, lady, but we don't protect or serve. This is strictly business. What? Guess you'll just have to chalk it up to bad luck. <sighs> Cowboy scumbag. Wait a minute. I know you didn't mean that, Spike. He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? Just a humble bounty hunter, man. Okay, so we're moving on to a 2003 comedy starring Chris Rock. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent comedian. Big respect as a stand-up yeah. comedian. This is also stars Bernie Mac. He's dead. He is. Mm -hmm. uh, Nate Dogg. He's also dead. Um, Tracy Morgan. Uh, still alive. 
But his career's dead. Well, yeah. He did that thing on he stage. He did that one thing that was mm. not so good. Uh, it also stars Robin Gibbons. Robin Ooh. Gibbons. She, uh, that's Mike Tyson's ex-wife. She was married to Iron Mike. For a year. Wow. <coughs> Did she and, have uh, ears? She got $10 million out of it. But no ears. But no ears. So basically, oh, so this way, the premise of the movie is Chris Rock accidentally, I don't know how, accidentally ends up running for president. Well, so he's a Republican from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Golf clap. Uh, yeah, and it basically, that's it. It's a comedy that seemed a bit of a comedy back in the day, and then 10 years later, Obama. Yay. You have no Washington experience. You have no political experience. You have no political connections. How does being a bail bondsman qualify you to be the vice president of the United States of America? That's right, I am a bail bondsman. People come to me when they're in trouble, like the United States. We bail people out. We bail out Mexico. We bail out the savings and loan. We bail out the airline industry. Now, you ask me, sir, what qualified me to run for vice president. When the country's in trouble, I bail them out. Hold that thought. We have a caller from Detroit. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Mitch, Mitch. What you looking around for? It's Reggie, mother Where my money at, man? Don't come with that bull You say I'm on TV. What about NATO? How do you feel about NATO? I never, NATO. I never met NATO. I never met NATO on the underbound. I don't talk about people behind their back. NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty oh, Organization. But you, oh, you didn't say that. I thought you were talking about the guy. I know this guy named NATO, NATO, NATO Jacobs. But you, you have know. to know these things. If you're running for public Do you office, know NATO Jacobs? I Do you know NATO Jacobs? I know what NATO is. Sir. Do you know NATO Jacobs? Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't met the gentleman. That's I what I said. Did I say that? Man? You don't know nothing about NATO? I don't know nothing about NATO. One point I'd like to make. <laughs> OK, I'm going to sneeze, but go for it. Make your point. There has been a lot of African-American people in this episode. Yeah, with an uh, African-American comedian with a moustache. Yeah. We move on to two African-American comedians with moustaches. And that's what we have, Bad Boys. Because remember how we figured out just the other day that Bad Boys is Top Gun, is Days of Thunder, is Beverly Hills Cop 2? Is, yeah. Is the color purple. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Boys is, well, for those of you that haven't seen it, for all the women at home then, um, Bad Boys is the ultimate man's movie where... It's amazing. Big bromance of two guys running around with the shirt off, firing off weapons left, right and center, um, shooting off in the general direction of all sorts of bad guys and uh, keeping all kinds of ladies close while they're firing off their massive guns. Mike Lowry! Don't hate the player. I hate the game. I need one of those purple jackets that he walked out of. Yeah, that that's, was so that's, gay. That's Bad Boys too. I know. I didn't know. Julie! Yeah. Uh, oh. oh, you, um. Hi. You dress? Yeah, yeah, I okay. am. Um, look, we got to go through some, some mug shots. So okay. I'm going to hook into the computer and we can do this. Hey, Mike, who's the guy in all the photographs? I, you know, sometimes I don't even look at my, my shelf and I forgot all the pictures was here. That's my partner. Yeah, that's my partner, Marcus Burnett. Oh, I've never seen anything like this before. Well, I can see how it may throw you a little bit. Um, well, you know what? It's a cop thing. Yeah, these pictures up here for every time he saved my life. And it's the same thing with him. If you go to his place, ain't nothing but pictures of me, Mike Lowry, you know, because it's like a shrine. It's just a, just a reminder. Oh. Yeah. Because, I mean, when I saw it, you know, it was like, the whole wall, I thought maybe there were, you know, pictures of your lover. Of who? I thought that, you know, I thought that maybe you were... Right, okay, so Brad is usually absolutely no use whatsoever in the show because he hasn't seen any of the movies, but this next one stars someone from the world of Mama. Mixed martial arts. Yes. Oh. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, so mixed martial <laughs> arts. <laughs> um, is Gina Carano. Don't you ever think it means mixed marital arts when you mixed, read it? I know, exactly. It's like some interracial website, like... <laughs> the mixed marital <laughs> arts. mixed marital arts. This is one in each hand. Exactly. So Gina Carano is a superstar in the world of MMA. Yeah. Uh, then she... This movie was um, very well received by the MMA world. And I'll tell you why. Well, I oftentimes want to be underneath Gina Carano in training. Right. I wanted her to work her ground and pound, and then I'll sweep her and I'll end up on top. And I want to be in her guard. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really want to drill down and stay heavy, keep my hips low, very deep down so I don't get swept. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I want to I strike with my left, with my right, 
And sometimes I gotta sneak in an elbow. Right. You know, because a lot of times people don't see the elbow coming. They, right. they worry about the punches. So, you know, the fists. So you reckon she can take a fist? I reckon she can take one or two fists, but I think once I got to the elbow part of the exchange, I'd probably cut her open and the ref would stop it, do it all the blood. <laughs> oh man, I'm going haywire. Hey, segue! Da -da 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 -da. E5! <clears throat> So you know, <clears throat> I am an undefeated professional mixed martial artist. And you've seen me, we've been friends for a long time. <laughs> I, uh, I gain weight in between fights. You gotta lose a lot of weight to get down to your fighting shape, and then I balloon up a little bit. She gets huge. Sussy. She gets Christy Alley-like <laughs> in between <laughs> fights. It's like Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> Hot white chick in a bikini, Oprah in the off season. Right. Yeah. So was that an issue during the shooting? It actually, actually, I have a movie fact. No. I have a real movie fact. No. I really do. They had to bring her back for some extra scenes months after they had done the filming. And one of the scenes, there's a continuity problem because it was supposed to be in a bikini. But she was so out of shape and overweight, they had to stuff her into a wetsuit that I'm assuming took 14 people in a crane to zip up on the back. And this is that scene. No, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna have a list of reasons why we like Gina Carano. Mostly because of the jiu-jitsu stuff. Mm, I'll be in her guard. I won't even try to pass it. And she smells nice. But she smells like chicken. <laughs> Some things you might not know about Gina Carano. Her nickname is Conviction. Yeah. Why? As in she gets, goes to prison or that she's got conviction? <laughs> she... It's <laughs> like, I don't understand. And often accused, never convicted. <laughs> exactly. Gina Carano! Yeah, yay! So whatever that means. She was an American gladiator. Yeah, do you remember American gladiators? Yeah, yeah. They were so hot. Yeah. The... Wearing tights. They oh. kind of look like a superhero. I was more talking about the female American gladiators, though. There were chicks on that show! <laughs> I know. <laughs> Those were women! Are you insane? I used to stay up late at night to watch that. That was amazing. Um, another one, this might explain her sort of ballooning. Um, her dad was in the NFL. He was an NFL player. Oomful. Oomful. <laughs> and she does mama. Yeah, there was that. And BJJ. <sighs> they, uh, yeah, there was a lot. Everybody loves a bit of BJJ. Um, now, she became the first recipient of the Chuck Norris Award. Hmm. Chuck Norris and There's his a, beard. Hang on. There's a Chuck Norris Award. Yeah. yeah. If you can lift the entire world with one hand, Wait. then you're Chuck Norris. I've never won a Chuck Norris. I, I didn't even know, how do I compete? What? Everything I know is a lie. I know, and a woman won it as well. This is terrible. Her beard must be amazing. <laughs> Another interesting fact is that she used to date Superman. Everybody used to date Superman. Yeah, well, I hear he comes faster than speeding bullets. <clears throat> I can do things that other people can't. Hold my hand. Okay guys, we're almost done, which means it's time completely randomly for a random scene from a random movie called Blindfold. Now if you Google Blindfold, you end up on some weird sites, but if you go to movies, Blindfold, you have two answers. One is a very sexy thriller from the 90s with Shannon Doherty. 
from... She's uh, Beverly the... Hills 90210. Yeah, the 90210 chick. Mm. That's what I said. Yeah, but would, was 90210 or would, or would it be 90,200? <laughs> 90,210. Yeah, oh like, two, no, 210. Yeah. Yeah, because it gets confusing, because if you lose lots of numbers, I like, you know, 3, 7, 9, 12, 87, 654, infinity, things like that. I imagine it would drive some people crazy. But anyway, this is the other one that has Hollywood legend Rock Hudson in it. Wait, being, Rock Hudson, is yeah, he the guy? He, yes, he is. But we're not supposed no, to... No, we're not going to make any of those jokes. But that one... I don't want to get any more complaints. Remember the letters you no. got? No! Rock Hudson. We're not going to make any jokes about him. Mm -mm. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It seems to work perfectly, Miss Vale. We must consider the possibility that your symptoms are psychosomatic. I know what that means. There is nothing wrong with the head, the knee. Well, I can't find anything wrong with it. In fact, as a knee, I, I find it above criticism. In every way. <clears throat> well, well, that's that today's... Hey, man, I'm going to start this every time. Oh, seriously. I'm the main host. <laughs> you you mean the main... Co-host means dual. I've been doing this, this, this one for like five years. And it's obviously not well enough. You know, they brought me been, on, didn't they? We shouldn't be talking at the same time. It's ridiculous. What? You're touching my hair? I am touching your hair. This is ridiculous. Talk about ridiculous with your broken hand. Look, you're not even wearing socks, man. This is ridiculous.